Welcome to the grand finale of the 23rd Rail Business Awards. Over the years, the Rail Business Awards have become a highlight of our industry calendar as the first national awards to celebrate best practice in the UK rail sector. They continue to provide a valuable opportunity to recognise the many commercial, technical and personal initiatives that go into running and promoting our railways. And I'm really disappointed that we can't meet in person for our regular gala dinner. Yet it is important to continue recognising excellence in all fields. And I hope that you've enjoyed our virtual awards presentations this week. We had some really excellent submissions again this year across a slightly reduced number of awards. And I'm only sorry that not everybody could make it onto the shortlist. My congratulations to all the finalists and to the category winners. And at this point, I'd like to express my thanks to our panel of independent judges for all their hard work under some very difficult circumstances. And of course, to all of our sponsors for their support, which has ensured that these awards can take place year after year. Once again, these awards have recognised all manner of entries, train operators, infrastructure companies, and the many companies that make up the industry's supply chain, as well as individuals within those organisations. Over the past three days, we've announced the 15 category winners, covering people, products and engineering, and operations. Congratulations to you all. And finally, we come to the big one, Rail Business of the Year. As always, there are no entries for this award, and the winner has been selected by the judging panel to reflect the results of other entries and nominations. Over the years, this award has gone to a host of different organisations, including passenger and freight operators, suppliers and consultants. And now over to the Editor-in-Chief of the Railway Gazette Group, Chris Jackson, to announce the winner. It's a great privilege to be invited to announce the winner of the Rail Business of the Year. With the nominations for this award left wide open, it's always exciting to find out what the judges have decided following their deliberations. So here goes. And the winner is Stadler Rail UK. The judges felt that Stadler Rail has made a particularly strong showing since entering the UK market a few years ago. It's supplied the intercity and regional trains that have helped to transform operations at our Train Operator of the Year, Greater Anglia. These include the bi-mode units with their retractable steps for level boarding, which won this year's award for accessibility and integrated transport excellence. Stadler Rail had previously supplied trams for Croydon, and it's since won a string of significant contracts to supply and maintain new rolling stock for urban rail operations in different parts of the UK. It's currently delivering the first Class 777 EMUs that will transform the Merseyrail network around Liverpool, which also feature level boarding, and has taken over the maintenance of the current fleet. The company is also commissioning the first new trains for a total modernisation of the Glasgow subway, and most recently it took over the maintenance of the rolling stock for the Tyne and Weir Metro, where it will also be supplying a complete new fleet over the next few years and it'll be supplying a diverse fleet of bi- and tri-mode hybrid train sets to transport for Wales to operate the South Wales Metro Network. A great performance across the board and a worthy winner. Stadler's relatively new to the UK, but we're proud to have secured five orders in the last four years. We're thrilled to be delivering trains here, to be an employer here, and to have become a key player in the UK rail industry. And we're very pleased to be accepting this prestigious accolade as Rail Business of the Year. So thank you very much to the judges, to our teams in Liverpool, Norwich and Newcastle and our colleagues in Switzerland. Every one of them has contributed to this success. We look forward to gaining further ground in this market, winning future bids and having the opportunity to bring Swiss engineering excellence to the UK. Thank you. This was Stadler in the past. A simple workshop, which turned into this, and this, and this. But how did we manage to achieve all this? Is it because we put the needs of our customers first? Is it technology? Or hard?
high availability. Die Züge müssen immer laufen. Is it perhaps the lightweight aluminium construction? Alu is the hammer. Is it about quality? The Feinschliff is wichtig. Is it because we deliver on time? That's loud. Or is it about the great variety of vehicles deployed everywhere? Well, of course these are all good enough reasons. But there's much more to it than that. Bestelde muss wirklich Freestyle sein. Dímelo para acá, ¿sabes? A lo mejor te estás de ser dinámico y flexible. Me viene normal, empiezo a resolver. Yo me hago todo lo posible. Posible. Ellos todos los carros les hacen así. No me tienes que problemas. La pasión del tren es siempre en marcha. No te quites nada. Bueno, vamos a hacer algo. Ya voy, vamos. Build your trade.